All right, so I wanted to go ahead and um, show you a few different lighting types in um, in Rhino. Uh, we're we're going to stick with the rectangular light, but you should um, at least know that there are other versions of lights. So I'm going to go to my lighting panel here. You can right click here and pull out your lighting panel. Um, you can also use the toolbar or the keystrokes or the tabs, whatever you want to do. I prefer this, so I'm going to go to my lighting tab and go down here and add um, a point light. So I'll just come in here and click on point and come in and let's zoom out and we'll put it, we'll put a point light in right there and you'll see it light the scene in Inkscape and also in Rhino. And if I come into here and pull that up, you'll see, whoo, it's very bright. Um, you'll see it show up over here. You can come in and change the intensity of it. If you pull it forward, you'll see it start to show up on that wall. And I put plaster on these walls so it would show up a little better. Um, so you can start to see how that guy works. Um, oftentimes, some people will use these. Um, photographers and things will usually use a, um, a softbox or something to uh, make the rays of light uh, distribute evenly. It's possible you could use this. We're going to use, I'm going to use rectangular lights um, mostly to light the scene. So um, I'll delete that. Um, if I go to add another light, um, there is a spotlight. So if I go to spotlight, I can come in and left click and make the spot and then come into one of my other views and click and it will light that guy up quite a bit. And again, you'll get the unnamed spotlight and I can change that to 0.5, right? And it'll lessen that. Let's try 0.7 maybe, right? So it's getting a sort of soft light there. And then if you come in um, and if I pick this guy, you're going to get these little points on it, right? So if I pick that point, I can then pull it out, right? So let me get out a little further pull that guy out and it'll increase the size of that spot. Um, I don't know, it's pretty limited. This inside one does not work. Um, it will work in Rhino. So if I zoom out in Rhino, you can kind of see it there. But if I come in here and pick that guy and move it out, you can see in Rhino it changing, but it's not gonna change in Inkscape. There's not a translation there between the two. Um, another thing that does not translate is the fall off, right? Um, and the color does. Go ahead. Um, so if you wanted to change the color of that spotlight, you could come in here and change the color, right? Change it to red and click OK. And now you've got a red light. We're sticking with, with white or maybe potentially a very, very soft, no reds or anything like that. So um, come back in and pick a white light and click OK. All right. Uh, the, uh, there are, if you double click on these, it'll give you a properties. Um, so there's the intensity that we just did. The shadow intensity and the spotlight hardness do not, none of these translate into Inkscape. So those are not going to um, affect you. Um, so most of the stuff that you want is going to be here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and delete that one. Get that one out of there. And then I'm going to go to um, the directional lights do not work. Um, there's a linear light. So you can come in and draw just a line here and it will draw a linear light. Although it pretty much acts like a spot light a little bit, um, in my opinion. Um, I don't think some of these translate very well into what they're saying, right? So if I'm looking at this one, it's really acting kind of like a big spot. Um, and if I move it forward, it looks like a big spot. Again, um, in this one, you get these little points, but they don't really do anything other than move the light, right? Like it doesn't, it seems to just be moving it but not really making it a bigger spot. I don't know, maybe it is a little bit, but it seems to me uh, to be a little bit limited in what it can do. So um, there's that linear light, again, same controls with the, um, with the intensity. 
And then the one that um, I would suggest that you guys use is this rectangular light. So if I go to the rectangular light, I'm just going to come into my um, right view and left click and hold down the shift key. And it's going to give me the top of the light. And then if I pull down, it will give me like a direct light there. And so here's the light itself. So if I pick it, it has a direction, right? It has a little arrow that comes out in the X direction. And if I move it right here and then move it forward, it's going to get hotter and hotter as it gets closer. I'm also a little bit in the ground, right? So if I move it up out, you can start to see how that's how that's working there. Um, this guy has these little points, right? So if I zoom in, I can pick these. And if I select them and pull on them, it doesn't really do anything. Um, or I find it's inconsistent in the way that it does stuff. So my estimation is that when you make these rectangles the first time, that's the size of light that you're gonna get. So for example, if I come in and make a rectangular light and left click here, hold down the shift key and make a really big light, right? So much bigger than the one I just made and then I come in and pick it and move it to here, it's still doing the same intensity, but it's a softer kind of light, right? Like it, it's, it's distributing the same intensity over a larger area. So um, if you want a little bit softer light or something like that, you can come in and, and work with this guy um, and pull it further away and you get, you know, you're kind of out, you can see it's creating a little bit of a flare here, but it's getting, out of its sort of radius. Um, and then again, same kind of things. You can come in here and change the um, intensity of it. And if I pull it a little closer, you can start to see, you know, how it's acting on, on the things around it. The lighting is, I would say, a little inconsistent, right? You can start to see 0.5 was very low. If I go to 0.6, you can start to see it here. Um, 0.7, starting to get a little stronger. So you just need to play with um, with how that light is working. Um, and the other option that you have with the light is really you have to pay attention to the direction. It's in the X, right? So you can see the light direction there. If you type flip, it will flip it, right? So now it's flipped in the other direction and looking the other way. Um, and that's the extent of your lights. I would recommend using the um, rectangular lights. Um, and so that's what we're going to do next.